Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of The Locker Room. It is week six in the NFL and week seven of college football. We have some keys to victory right here. As you see, already said it, week six. I need you to buy in. I need you to buy in on this show, on this lifestyle, whether you're watching from home or maybe you're at a red light, just having it on your phone. Buy in to what these three boys are doing for you week in and week out. Fight through the fringe. You're going to see some percentages this week that aren't so great. They're all below 50%. We're going to fight through the fringe with you. We're going to get better for you and help you to make your pocketbooks that much better. And finally, and the most important key to victory, subscribe. We are nothing without you beautiful people touching that button and having that little bell pop up. We need you to subscribe, rate five stars, and comment. Do me a favor right now. Pop in a pumpkin. It is spooked over. Speaking of... As always, if you go to store.barstoolsports.com and you find Bustin' with the Boys, you can find all kinds of merch, but my personal favorite is the Spooktober because it is 31 days of fright where ghouls, goblins, and specters from all around rise for 31 days. Got three choices here, the same shirt. There's a whole lot of other stuff going on too. We love it. I hope you love it. I hope you buy it and support it because as always, it helps everyone. Now, one more thing before we get to the show. Call of Fame. It's strictly just a call of shame right now. We got another dead body right here. A lot of individuals putting in effort for us every single week. Costumes, helmets, uh, outstanding parlays. We all know what parlays are, dude. They're a Hail Mary every single time. Hoping to God you can get those odds from the minus to the plus sign. And these boys are putting their hearts and souls in line. And I suggest you keep putting those fan videos in because one of these days it's going to hit and you're going to find yourself right here next to the true classic and that beautiful face in the cold tub. Let's have a hell of a day. Let's have a hell of a show. It is week six and episode six of The Locker Room. Let's go. Welcome to the locker room presented by Fireball Whiskey. Fireball is the perfect shot for game day. And whether you're buying those sneaky little shooters before going into the stadium Sneakies. or going big with the Fireball keg for your tailgate, whether it's a pregame shot in the tailgate or a celebratory touchdown shot at the bar, no matter what, it's guaranteed to ignite your game day. Thank you guys for joining us. Again, top half of the show, all NFL. All NFL, can the Commanders get out a win in Baltimore? The back half of the show will be all college football. Stick around. We got games of the week. We got our ballsy pick. We got rapid fire. We got our fan call-in segment, both at the top of the show and at the bottom half of the show. Fellas, where should we start? Talk about sneaky where little shooters. Start? Yeah. Sneaky little shooters. About 15 years ago when you were in college, then you were a sneaky little boy back there at southeastern, uh, southeastern Missouri Tech. Well, I mean, you, you just fucked that all up. Yeah, I, what, I fumbled Central. over one of southeastern Missouri Tech. Simo Tech. Central Missouri. I don't know where y'all getting this southeast. You out there sneaking yeah. around with them little fireball shooters, huh? Yeah, man. You know, we uh we had this place called uh uh Fountain Club, man. That shit was uh no, actually the factory. Let me get it right. The okay. factory. The factory. Was, yeah, and it was like a upstairs area where you it'd be so packed the ground be bouncing. Okay, man. bad foundation. Bad uh, foundation, bad, not up to real code. Bad. I mean, you know, D2. Yeah, we, you know, D two facility, D two bars. Got to find a way. Ain't spending a lot of money. Not spending a lot of money, but uh, them fireball shots used to have your boy turned. Yeah. Up. I think that's how I got my first white girl. Uh, for real? Yeah, fireball. For sure. Shout out fireball, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Thank breaking you, fireball. Down, yeah. Breaking Thank down you. walls. Thank you, man. You know, I had to have my rainbows on. You know. Thank you. What's a rainbows? You don't know what rainbows are? Rainbows? Yeah. A little those little thong flip flops. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I know yeah, what those yeah, are. Yeah. Yeah, slash and bash. Dog, and, uh, I can't you call imagine. Call the flops rainbows. Yeah. Oh, they. That's just a. That's like a it's heavy a, brand. Yeah, it's just a nice, a nice brand. Oh, I didn't know if we just call them rainbows. Whoa. It's a thong flop. That ain't too no, weird. man. Come on. What man. you trying to say, bro? You trying to say the show? I, I, I think it's a weird look for dudes wearing the thong flops. Yeah, you don't like. So I thought you were calling them rainbows. Oh, like, you know no, what I mean. No, I thought oh. that it was just like, oh, you got some. No, rainbows. it wasn't a He's shot. He's trying to say no. that move is sweet. He yeah, 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 a little yeah. Zesty it wasn't move. a shot. I got you. I got you. They call shot. rainbows. They call I, rainbows. I wish. I love to get if you could find it. I would love to get a photo of you, your senior year of high school, and then you on like Christmas break after your freshman year. Because the way you talk about how you dressed in college compared to how you dress or how you dressed in high school to how you dressed in college. I don't know if you're gonna ever find a photo of me. In high school, I don't think I took pictures. I was that yeah, guy. Yeah, they, they didn't have was, cameras back then. That too. Also, I was, 
I was I thought I was like a criminal, you know, no face, no case type thing. <laughs> So like, never took pictures. Hey, you thought you were a criminal? I, you know, I, you know. How you <laughs> I mean, you just—I know your record. <laughs> I know what happened in high school. Yeah, you know, you know. That's why you ended up in Central Missouri. Yeah, definitely. You were a dog. <laughs> that is the actual, actual factual reason why I ended up there. Couldn't leave yeah. the state of California for two years. You. You know how that goes. But no, no, that's, no that's, I don't. That's, that's, that's another, no face, no case. No face, no case. You know, okay, I thought I was, I was a criminal. Here. I couldn't leave the state of California for two years, but I thought. <laughs> but, you know, I thought I was. And then I went to Missouri, opened up my eyes. New world. Yeah. New show. Found and now home. look at you. Look at me, man. Look at hey, me. You see he's got a uh, true classic tee on. True classic. Know, it looks like you've lost good. 10 pounds. That's exactly what I told him. I said you you were looking a little husky, and it feels like you just lost it all in one week. Literally, putting by putting a t-shirt on. No, no, no. You know, I, I worked hard for this, but the T-shirt helps. <laughs> the T-shirt, bro. You can't just change your body in ten in, in a one week's in a time. Week. I think he can. In a bro, week, he, I'm actually, black. you're right. I know I made the statement, but you are 100. Yeah. We had this conversation. I'm black, it, bro. You're you're you black a with a dash genes. or something. All else. I gotta do you is look genetics. at the weights and then put on a true classic. <laughs> you never <laughs> touched the weight. The whole time we were at the Titans, you never touched the weight. No, did not. No, you were in that sauna. Sauna busting down. The steam room with the boom this with the boom box. Sweaty water everywhere. My boys just doing crunches. We're just sitting there next to him in the steam room, and he's just <laughs> you just and me, banging middle music. of December, yeah. guts, just white, pasty guts hanging out, talking while, to everybody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, Shit, just getting work. it. Y'all need to get on this program, right? Hey, best we, program ever. I've told the story before, but you went to Israel, yeah, for a break, and you came back, and it was the most jacked I've ever seen him. I'm like, yo, what happened? He goes, oh. I'm Jewish now. I don't eat ham. <laughs> that was his explanation. I said pork. Pork. <laughs> said, My fault. Pork no, that, is hey, that's the truth. Ham. Hey, that shit is the truth, man. I went out there to eat no pork. I don't know. I just gained them. Yeah. It came back like, Ey. You still Jewish? Yeah, of course. Hebrew Israelite, though. You know, a little yeah, different. Some slight. A little, yeah. little different. Yeah. Happy little New Year. Slight. Yeah, Happy New Year, man. The oh, bro, he's I'm fake. He's yeah, not he's real. Fraud. Happy New Year. The Jewish New Year was last week. Do it, say it the right way. Well, how oh, you say it the right way? I, I fuck, I can't. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't been following it too yeah. well. Yeah, uh, yeah. Follow us through the game of your week. Thursday night football. Thursday night football. Some guys just don't know the program. Some guys just don't know the program. Got sidetracked there. 49ers. 49ers. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> 49ers favored three and a half against the at Seattle. The total points in that game is 48 and a half. Delaney. Ooh. You know, y'all know where my heart lies. I mean, I bled red and gold my entire life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was fortunate enough to get drafted by them. Yep. 46. You know, 46. Real Turper. He's somewhere back there. But, you know, Seattle ain't a slap. They not slaps. It's going to be a tough game. But I got to ride with the faithful. So I'm going 49ers because I think Purdy going to get those boys back on track, start giving the ball to you know, all the top two guys that they got from tight end to receiver, getting them boys going. That defense is going to start making plays, especially with Seattle being hurt. I know you said that they got a lot of O-line. That is They're on their third right tackle. Third right tackle. And Bosa's on that side. Like That's oh, where yeah. you got to get your Delaney Walkers of the world. Yeah, chip, hey, you need to chip, chip a little bit. Play. Listen, oh. son, you're not going to catch a lot of balls today. That's yeah. what you got to tell yeah. their what, Delaney what's, Walker. What's yeah. like if – I mean, I know you were never a third string right tackle, but if you could put yourself in that mindset as an Couldn't. offensive lineman, knowing you're going against Nick Bosa, like the third right tackle has got to be a little rattled going into this Thursday night game. Yeah. There, there are two trains of thoughts that can go through this right tackle's mind. One, my moment. If I can handle Nick Bosa today, I have made my name in yeah. the league. Yes. And people will start putting respect on my name, and I can become that guy. But you're check. also kind of hoping, hey, yeah, we got the chips in there, right? Yeah, and then the other train of thought is like going to the OC's office. When it's dark outside, everyone's left the building. He's there watching the film and just get on your knees and be like, brother, <laughs> for the love of God, please chip every single play, slide every single way. There's two ways to go about it. Yeah. Two yeah. ways to go about but it. But you still got to know how to block on a chip. Some dudes still overset knowing that the damn chip coming because I done chip hurt people and they done spun back inside. I'm sitting there like, bruh. I had your damn chip on out. Why are you outside kicking him? That happened to me one time. <laughs> yeah, like, With Delaney, too? No, not no, Delaney. Not, not no, no, no. Me. This was like uh, 2021. We were playing Houston, and we had a chip. I didn't hear the chip call, so I kind of shot, shot out. It was out a of fast it. little cat, and he chipped him right into the beginning. Right into it. And then went to sack Tannehill, and Tannehill got out of it. I, like, stopped and was like, God damn. Like, just the worst it feeling happens. in the world. 
gets out of it. I think he threw a touchdown. It oh, happens. no, he threw it to uh, – no, it wasn't Corey Davis. He threw it to somebody, and then they got stopped at the three-yard line. It had line. to be A.J. We only had no, Corey. Then the whole stat of you giving up a sack. So he was gone. The whole stat of you giving up a sack goes away. Goes away. Goes away. Play. Goes away, and you're like, still got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Part of you still got it. Like, but I know they be in the room blaming the chipper, though. Like, damn, the chipper fucked me up. When they Chippers go to the do sideline, tackles do. Tackles. <laughs> like uh, the chipper. Fuck. Chipper. Oh, yeah, he but y'all me do up. mess around. If y'all don't know how to chip good, you're supposed to chip on the outside shoulder and bring him to you. He's supposed to slow his feet down. Some guys, when that, when like you go to chip, and the tight end comes over and they they motion him in on like a third down, a lot of smart DNs will go from like a six technique to a wide nine. Yeah. And get out of there, and then they'll start running the hoop, and you have to get your ass out of there, and the tight end will literally push him. Throw him yeah. and give him an extra like a push to help him get around the edge, and you're like, "What are we fucking doing? These are already aliens on the edge." Yeah, and sure. you just kind of pray to God you make it, and then you pull him to the side and be like, "Don't ever fucking do that again. Right, right, right. Do don't, not ever do don't that give again." Him that kind show of next one time, of my just don't chips. Even touch if him. we could show one of my chips up here somewhere, we don't have the funds. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. Have, he said, "Throw it up here." <laughs> But, we don't have the funds to do that. Yeah, uh, but, but you I, were a good chipper. I was a good chipper. I'll yeah, get you head to chipper. head. I, if you wide out nine, I keep motioning with you. Oh, you oh, you think I ain't about to face you? I'm getting this face. Yeah. The problem with Delaney was when Delaney came, Delaney was obviously a core four guy and was, you know, a role player at the 49ers and came to the Titans and became the fucking guy, like, immediately. Yeah. So Delaney has all of these physical traits of being able to block, do yeah. trays, do triples, do great chips. But once we figured out that, like, this is our only passing option from 14 to 17. <laughs> we, Red zone threat. It was, a, I would get, you know, the scrawny white tight end that just came from Arizona oh, yeah, State. Yeah. No disrespect, Tommy Hudson. And and <laughs> Delaney would be out there be like, see you later. And then he would watch people block and be like, you're trash at blocking. And the other oh, yeah. thing, you do it. Every once in a while, they put him at the Y. Run like an inside zone the other way. Take an end and dump yeah, Oh, yeah. I told y'all, like man. I really, the opposite way. <laughs> I really do this shit. I really do this shit. He'd be like, God damn, he really fucking does. Oh, uh, we got off track, but I'm going 49ers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three going 49ers. And a half. No, I, I, I'm with you, too. This is a little fun fact here. Third game in 11 days for Seattle. They are like, uh, they are hurting across the board on offensive line. Now, the, uh, the backers for the Niners, they're kind of licking their wounds. Fred Warner, he's probably going to play with an ankle, but you yeah. still got Greenlaw out. And they have this young backer, too, that's been playing well, but he's going to be out, too. Yeah. Seattle does a good job of, like, getting empty formations. I, I expect it to be, like, some type of quick game to kind of keep Nick Bosa at bay. But I do. I feel like it's a gut check situation for the 49ers because they blew a 23-10 lead against Arizona. Arizona. Mm-hmm. They were the best team in the red zone last year. Right now they're 30th. I know. Yeah. But I like, I like the Niners <laughs> here. I also, I really like the uh, 48 and a half under. I like the under. I like some sloppy ball. I like, you know, Niners have their injuries. Seattle has their injuries. They're limping into this game. I like, if I'm going to bet, I'm betting the under 48 and a half. There's, there's, uh, we're at the point in the season where like injuries are really starting to stack up and guys don't have that callus to like the, just the endurance of all the hits over and over. And you kind of get to that week eight, nine, 10, 11. Once you get into those situations, like it's more numbing than anything else. Like the hits, the injuries, the bruises, like it's just easier to fight through. It kind of just feels like you're, you've calloused over your entire body. Fred Warner was quoted saying that, listen, in the second half, we had an absolute meltdown. And I will never bet against a pissed off locker room of the 49ers. The way yeah. they're a leadership, yeah. who they have. There's a yeah. lot of question marks. And they know what's being said out right. there. People are, yeah, and people, they they, what's, what's being said is the like their, problem, their problems extend much farther than Christian McCaffrey being out. And so there's a lot of doubt in the media eye of the 49ers, and it's not sitting at these three chairs. So we have a triple A stat right now. Seahawks losing to the Giants, I think, helps the Niners. And I think the Niners losing. To Arizona, Arizona when they're searching for their first NFC West win, yeah. that is going to play a big factor in this game. I love the under. Yeah. And I love the under, the fact that I think 49ers will score enough points to cover. I think they'll score enough to win. I think when you have a guy, a generational talent like Nick Bosa and the third string right tackle, you are going. your playbook is going to revolve around protecting your quarterback enough to get the ball out. And with that, you're putting so much focus on one guy, it allows three other guys to eat throughout the day. You have more one-on-one matchups because you're sliding that way. You're helping out the whole time. You're throwing those chips and blocks. So I I, I can see them getting to the quarterback quite often. It might not even be Nick Bosa. I'm not taking the under over. I'm just going to take it. (laughs) You don't have to, bro. That's the beautiful thing about it. No no one's getting mad at you. To me, it's like unders usually hit. Last week, I feel like it was an anomaly with Kirk Cousins. And uh, oh, no. the Buccaneers, uh, yeah. would they score like 60 something yeah, points? Yeah, Kirk Cousins yeah. went off. Yeah. Kirk Cousins went off. 500 oh, he fucking yards, bro. He yeah. I mean, it was insane. But I do. I, I like the under a lot this week. Yeah. 
Um, before we transition to game of the week, just some spooktober news. Last week, Delaney, what after this show, what did we watch? What was it called? A violent event. Uh, a violent nature. Nature. A violent nature. A violent nature. And this yeah. movie, for don't those recommend. Of you, yeah, don't recommend. <laughs> don't recommend. That it's movie. like Low. if you. It's like they had the idea of Jason Voorhees in there. Yeah. And they're like, let's make these kills. Like, let's do highlight kills the entire yeah, time. Yeah, the whole time. It's like third person, like you said. It's like. And you don't miss person. one second like of what's going on. Game. Right. It doesn't go from scene to scene. Yeah, it literally is like following this guy around. Yeah, just walks crazy. Over. Dude walks for 45 seconds and they cut to the next scene. It's like, you could have. <laughs> you could have cut. I had him take 10 steps and that could have been cut it. cut that <laughs> shit. With, um, so this is a redemption week for you as far as like scary movies go. I think I'm the only one who always picked the scary movies. No, you always pick it on Wednesday. We all obviously oh, yeah. all have the obligation of Spooktober to watch a spook every single day. But because you are a, I believe it's B-rated films, right? All B-rated. You're yeah. a B-rated guy. It's like one of those like, I'm not going to sit down and watch these type of movies, <laughs> yeah. but I do enjoy doing it with you because yeah. there, there is like a, there's an art to the kill. Oh yeah. So what are we watching? What are we watching after this? I already know the answer. Go ahead, Delaney. Tell them what we're watching. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, Part Two. Oh, there's a Part Two. It's a Part Two. Yeah, yeah. You haven't the Part One. Part One was okay. <laughs> but Part Two. Part Just Two. Just a little processing that. Like, there's a Part Two. <laughs> I'll see you after the movie. <laughs> no, you gotta put it. Yeah, watch for a little bit. Okay, I'll watch. Yeah, watch for a little bit. Watch a little bit. Watch a little bit. bit. Watch he said. Part, he said Part Two, Part One. Is when they talk about all the uh, animals in the hundred acre forest, yeah. how they were happy, and then something happens to them, they burn down the entire forest. <laughs> and part two is all about them just murdering, murdering whoever comes into the burnt forest. Yeah, looking for them. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> Del Delaney's a psycho. I psycho. Think, I think oh, psycho. Yeah. I didn't kill animals though when I was growing up, so just to put that Why out we... there. Yeah, you gotta put that out there. <laughs> that's a serial killer thing to do. That's a serial killer thing to do. I didn't kill animals. <laughs> Just want to let that be known. Yeah, yeah. No animal was harmed. No animal was Walker. harmed when I was a child, for sure. All right, game of the week. You brought, uh, you brought up. Did you say bring up the Bucks? I brought he up did the Bucks. Brought up, yeah, up the about Bucks. their game last week. Yeah, last well, Thursday. my yeah, game yeah, of the yeah. week is the Bucks, and they're getting their GBOT against the Saints. Like we already talked about, Kirk Cousins had a masterful game. The Bucks have not been the same since their Week Five Thursday night game. They were just. Not firing on any cylinders. Uh, Baker had a tough one. The whole entire team. I mean, they were scoring. Defense was playing well. The, the boy Levante David, another pick that you thought it sealed the deal. But I Kirko, thought that Kirko sealed Duggins the deal. in that two-minute drill. I got the Bucks minus three and a half. Man, oh, I, against the Saints, right? Against the Saints. I, I think, oh, yeah. I think it yeah. is just because Derek Carr, he's going on IR. Who's going to be the quarterback? Hey, JP, I know Spencer Rattler. Like, that's your guy. Is he going to be the starter this week? Hey man, that may change the dynamic though. This is Rattler can sling it. He can I, I do sling think it. He can sling, sling it. it. And JP Hovey. Yes, sir. He said by week six, we'll be hearing about Spencer Rattler. Come on. And what week is it, JP? Week six. That's right. Real snap. So yeah, it's not official yet, but obviously all the news outlets have gotten their hold of it. They're like, could this be the week Spencer Rattler starting? The Saints are seriously considering it. Last week they saw what would happen if they started old buddy. Yeah. So it's Rattler season. Yeah. Started who? The backup. I forget his name. It starts. Uh, I know. Yeah, Number Jake Hayner. They didn't start him. He came in when Carr got hurt. Yeah, yeah. when he, he hurt played his, horrible. Yeah, shoulder, right? Played horrible. Yeah, shoulder. <laughs> JP Watson played so horrible. Bad. But either Rattler. way, you're going to have a very inexperienced quarterback and what uh, Coach Bowles has always done well. Like, he's somebody who blitzes you first, second, True. third down, multiple fronts. If you got a rookie quarterback in there, I think this is where – you're trying to attack them, confuse them a little yeah, bit. Yeah, again, the, the the defense led by bullets the will absolutely be flying. And also the Bucks having that nice little mini bye week at this point in the season when we get the nicks and bruises. That's yeah. I think that's going to be a big help for them. Yeah, I'm riding. I'm riding with you on that one. It, it's three. The points three. Yeah, it's three. I see them three and a half. And the Saints took a they would took a beating from Kansas City. So yeah, yeah, I think it's you're right on that one. All right, cool. We got another AAA stat. We feel good about it, William. Let me take you to Dallas. Okay. And I have some fun data points for you boys. Got in the weeds a little bit on some nine-inch data. Found yes. some gambling stats for this game. The Lions are 10-2 and two against the spread with rest advantage since 2021. They're 6-2 and two as an away favorite since 2021. Uh, Dallas, they're 0-2 at home. I think they had... Uh, who had who had the three turnovers last? Who'd they play last week? Who'd they play last? Week? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. They only win by three points. Uh, barely. Man, you know. Barely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just think I think the Lions are going to be hungry. They have way too many weapons. You're playing against a good quarterback. When you look at who Dallas has played, like Justin Fields, who's another? They played against Deshaun Watson. Anytime yeah. they played against a, a, a decent, I guess, quarterback. Deshaun Watson's decent. 
No, 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 no. no. He, they, no. they, one of their wins is against the Browns, is what I'm saying. That's oh, what he said. Like yeah. going yeah. against Jared Goff, who was like 18 for 18 last week. Yeah. And all the weapons that they have, like they have a great yards, line of scrimmage. Yeah, it's a, it's a game where you're going into Dallas. They're obviously seeking their first win at home. But you got to create your own energy on the road. I think Detroit having uh, having a bye week, coming off a bye week, they're going to be they're going to be well rested. They're going to be energized for this game, and they have all the weapons to beat their ass. They are a little leaky in the back end with their pass defense. Uh, Dallas throws the ball around well. They can't run worth a shit. Their defense is Dallas's defense is shaky because again, Michael Parsons he's questionable, high ankle sprain. Even if he is playing, he's not going to have that spring to him. Demarcus Lawrence on IR, Jordan Phillips their D tackles on IR. Uh, I think the I think Detroit will be able to do whatever they want against them. Yeah. It's just going to be about minimizing the explosive plays like on the back end because again they're like 27th in the league in pass defense. defense. But I love Detroit here. I think it's uh yeah the Lions minus three. Your boy's taking Detroit. Yeah, I love that pick. Yeah, I, I, love I love the love, Lions. I, like I think Dan Campbell, his the, his attitude, being at that practice and seeing how smoothly that practice ran in the fall. Everyone, you can tell the leadership. Um, yeah, I think it's Frank Ragno. He's out, correct? He yeah, Frank's pack. out. He's yeah. out. He is Which out. is a huge, huge shot to their leadership. Yeah. But they have one of the best offensive lines in the entire league, if not the best offensive line. Right now, uh, yeah. Who I'm plays it? Is, is, is your boy Glasgow that goes to center? He might have. I, I, I got to look into that. I haven't, to be honest with you, I haven't looked too much into this game, but I do know, I mean, the two tackles, Panay and yep. Decker. He goes to, yeah, he goes Glasgow to swings over. Yeah, and Glasgow, he played center at Michigan for a yeah. while too. Oh, so, okay. so I think those guys it. are yeah. just seeing the, 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 the attitude. The, of that team and right. Amon Ra, the way he came in and sat down with us and talked to us with his, the way he approaches leadership, the way he approaches the game. It's kind of a fuck you mentality. I'm better than all of you. Always able to find a chip on your shoulder type stuff. Jared Goff, who's a guy's guy, yeah. wants to be a part of Beer Olympics. If you guys are wondering, those of you out there, what he wants to be a part <laughs> of the Can he drink? Seems we'll like he can out. throw him back. He's the one who wants to do it. He's got the body for he it. He ain't I will experienced say that. that thing, though. Yeah, it's a <laughs> hey, yeah. I gotta say it. Yeah, yeah, it is a, an event. <laughs> it truly really is like borderline alcohol poisoning. Yeah. If you're wondering what the beer Olympics, the beer games are, you can check it out on our YouTube yeah, channel. Yeah, check it out on YouTube. <laughs> um, I like their team. I like their moxie. I like their swag. That's the, the uh, I'm with you on that. Yeah, I like it. All right. Oh, game of the time. week, Delaney. Oh, game of the week. Time man. out now. Are you taking Are you taking the Lions minus three? Like, is that going to be a pick that you provide? I like that, up? the Lions. All right. Minus three. There we go. What's your game of the week? Come on, man. You know, man, I got to ride with my dog, <laughs> Archer Smith. Come you feel on, me? Man. I'm going. So my game, of, my game of the week is going to be uh, the Steelers versus the Raiders. The Raiders right now. God damn. What is going on over there? And my boy over there, shot. I ain't talking bad about your thing because I still fuck with you. But they are having some problems. Who's you, your boy over there, AP? Yeah. My fault. Uh, you know, they got problems. You got your, your main receiver. I don't know if he want to be there or not be there. We, the question is in the air. Yeah, it seems you like know. he doesn't. I mean, I didn't say that. Will Compton. I said, said it seems like he doesn't. Oh, yeah. I'm not Talk saying it as fact. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he's asked for a trade, right? Yeah. yeah. Did he? Or yeah, is no, that what the media said? Yeah. No. Well, he has, he, okay, he yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly. He has requested yeah. for a trade. Okay, so with that being said, man, I, I think the Steelers are doing great. I don't know. I, if Russell Wilson get in there, I may end up changing my pick later You think on the Steelers there. are doing great? They're doing fine right now with what they got. Justin Fields out there doing his thing. Can we get Pickens? The, the yeah, but bro, the the Dallas gave him the ball three times last week. I and, know and they, turnover margin, and they 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 still lost. It's, they they should have ran the ball more. I feel like they got to put Patterson back there. What is it, Patterson? Yeah, Peterson? no, I think you're right, uh, Cord Cordell. I feel like if he's back there running the ball, that dude can make plays. If we could get him to run the ball more, they'll be explosive in the run game, and then that passing game gonna open up. I feel like Arthur sees that he's gonna get that done this week. I gotta go with the Steelers, man. I'm thinking the Steelers is gonna take this one against the Raiders for sure. Do you? What's the over under on that? On the over under is 37. <sighs> Low. It is, but I kind of like the under. It's the low. Under is the under. I kind of like the under. The under <laughs> is come on. Hey, give me the best play. Give me the under. Yeah. I like the under as well. I, I get nervous. Do you see the clip of Max Crosby? I Which did. one? So Max Crosby is uh, sitting there, tarp off, telling a reporter that's like. Basically saying some bitch on uh, Pat McAfee's show is talking about how he needs to it's, uh, do a the whole G bunch of stuff. It was the XGM Lombardi, right? Yeah, it was yeah, Lombardi. Lo yeah. yeah. He basically calling him out. That kind of fire just gets me fucking going. That'll I know be, he's nursing yeah, an ankle. Shit in the game. I know that, but like, dude. The dude was back from a high ankle sprain in, in two weeks. Which is insane. insane. That's a four to six weeks. I mean, he'll That's monster, a four to six weeker. But yeah. it, it, it hurts his play, though. You go out it there hurts and you his, don't, It hurts his play, He still got two sacks, bro. Against who? 
It doesn't it, fucking yeah, matter. It does matter. Does matter. Yeah, three? Bro, it, Max Crosby's on the field. You account for him at all times. Uh, every like time. Uh, like, definitely. Yes. That, but if you if when you know how we did, uh, what was old buddy from Houston? Uh, Clowning. what? No, Clowning. Remember when he came back from the ankle and we cut him every damn play? Yeah. Yeah, we did do that. And he quit by the fourth quarter. By the fourth quarter. I will say this. <laughs> Jadavian Clowney. And Max Crosby are not they built was, the same. They, you, they are they not, not built, built the same. Back bro. in the day, you couldn't say that about Clowney. You saying on, just because hey, you hey, say no. Back what are you talking about? Clowney talent was wise. the same talent-wise back in the no, day. No, Clowney is a better talent okay. than Max. Max has a motor. He's yeah, got he's the a length. dog. He's bro, the white he's boy with the motor. Will you be like the, the white boy with he's the motor? He's the white boy with the motor. No, <laughs> he's got more talent than the, than the classic the white day. boy with the motor. I, I he's mean, got I, more talent I, than I, that. No, I'm, I'm not saying he's a Tim Shaw. But you're, if you're looking at like, straight talent, you would look at Jadavion Clowney and be like, this guy has more talent than this guy. But at, yeah, this right guy, now, for sure. leadership, competitive. Talent? He's, ta- he's got talent, but we're, I'm also, I have to take that away from him because Jadavion. You look at him, the leadership, everything's falling apart in the locker room at the Raiders. Definitely. People are feeling some type of way. People are like, hey, did we make the right move with AP? We should have done it with your boy. Basaccia. Basaccia. Maybe we shouldn't have done it with AP. Devontae Adams. He wants out. He wants to go to the Jets or the Saints. Maybe not the Saints anymore with Derek Carr being out. But Max Crosby is a guy that does not give a fuck about opinions of his, of his teammates, Dog. how they feel about him. He is going to stand up. He's going to look people in the eye, call them bitches to their face, and tell them they need to get their ass fucking going. That's exactly what they need. And that's why it's, they, they scare me against the Steelers. No, he a dog, but I'm still going to Steelers. I feel Arthur going to find a way to get him Arthur's out the Arthur's a game. dog, too. He, you know, he going to find ways. They're going to cut him. I promise you they're going to be doing that slice Probably. play back and forth. I was in that system. I know what they're going to do because they're going to look at him. Just like you said, they got to count for him. He's the dog on the team. He's the heart right now. He's the beating heart. How do you stop a beating heart? You attack that shit. Stab it. And that's what they're gonna do. Cut it down. They ain't gonna tap out, Max. I'll take the under. They, no, he ain't gonna, ain't tap, gonna out. tap out. Max. He ain't gonna never. Max he ain't not gonna never out. quit. He, yeah, he yeah, nah, yeah, he yeah. not gonna quit. I love the under. Max has more career sacks than Clowney, and I'm a Clowney guy. But Max has four more career sacks, and he's only. I'm, thank you for bro, thank you for bringing that up. But yes. Clowney, this injury, we know he get he gets hurt every every but, year. But Max has only played like five years. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but how many games have he missed though? That's the whole point. Of that's what I'm built saying. Different. I, that's what I'm, I know. You talking about different. how you stop a beating heart? You, that heart ain't gonna stop beating. No, you just slow it down. <laughs> Buzz down. All man. right, so his resting heart rate is doing very well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, Max Crosby, you need to put some respect on his name. I, he's a dog. He is. I'm putting Clown. a lot of respect on. Like, his but name. you're trying to say he's him better and, than Clown. I'm saying that you're saying you're putting him and Clown in the same universe. They're I never the put them universe. in the same. I said. Clowney at that time when he first came in the league, he was a Max Crosby. We he was. Now, uh, I mean, did he fall off? Yes. But you Max know Crosby saying? never had, or sorry, Jadavian Clowney never had the work ethic of Max Crosby. I believe that. The intensity of Max Crosby, the leadership that. capability of Max Crosby. I believe that. Hopefully he don't see this because then he's gonna put clips of him beating you on YouTube. <laughs> go ahead and find go ahead and find four. Find hey, four. He goes, <laughs> I played play Clowney twice facts. a year, twice a year for six years, one sack. You know, that's hey, that's garbage good. Bullshit. Hey, that is good. Yeah, it is good. You know why? What? what did Max- I was fucking good. Now let me ask no, you this. No, you're great. Let me ask you this. <laughs> yeah. Are you hating on Max because he's what? No, never. Uh, I'm just making sure. I'm, 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 the white dudes are usually really good at what they do. Delaney's sitting up here with us right now. Yeah, I know. But <laughs> you know he's got. He's uh, everyone's got a. I mean, hey, does, how many sacks did Max get on you there? None. There you go. Hey, you know what? I think, you can't. I think nah, that's one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this this uh, set, it's got a lot of balls. Great transition. What's our ballsy picks of the week? Let's get, get me our fired up. I look, I look at the I know Sam's like, you know why? Because I'm good. Is it because he's white? I got him. Back. <laughs> I got him going. <laughs> ballsy pick of the week. I'm taking uh, Jets money line versus the Bills. You got to read this. Got to uh, read. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Ballsy Pick brought to oh, us by... it's brought to us by Fireball. Burr. The college classic. So many things make football great, but you know what is the best thing? Kicking the oh, living shit bad. out of your rival. There's absolutely no better feeling as an athlete or a fan. And this week, my Ballsy Pick, I've already kind of mentioned it a little bit, Jets versus the Bills, the Battle of New York. And the and Fireball Whiskey is here to give you the spark to ignite your rivalry all season long. Grab a, fi- grab a football buddy, buy a round, and reignite your rivalry flame. Listen... Josh Allen should be in concussion protocol. Is he not in concussion protocol right now? 
He was literally laid Someone out, laid out in the field. Fired. Well, he's bounced different. that head off the field. He's built he's different. Built different. He's built different. He's That's 90s. another white guy. Built different. Built different. White guys are making a comeback, bro. <laughs> they, I mean, they never left, motherfucker. What you talking about? What you mean? Yeah. What do you mean? We're minority out here. Where? The league. Oh, yeah, the NFL. Yeah, yeah, that's sure. what we're talking about oh, right okay. now. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Temperatures are high right now. It's a fiery, are it's a fiery moment I'm with sweating. fireball. I'm sweating. Fiery right moment I'm with sweating. fireball. Very, very fireball moment. Josh, Josh Allen, um, tough loss. You know he wanted that so bad because yeah. Stephon Diggs last week in Houston wanted it just as bad. Stephon ends up getting him. Josh bouncing his head, going limp for a second. The A's are scrambled a bit. I think he, you know, I love Josh to death. He's he's built different, like you've said, but something about built like me. Something about when a when a football team fires their head coach, the interim head coach always has a win the next week. Always. AP when he took over for the Raiders, Mike Malarkey when he took over Ken Wisenhunt. Yep. I see the Jets winning this game. It's it's only a two point game. They're only uh, underdogs by two points, but I'm taking I'm taking the Jets. Oh, and they hired my dog. Uh, fuck. Linebacker. Doesn't sound like your dog, man. <laughs> doesn't sound like all I'm saying is doesn't sound like I haven't dog. seen him in about oh, he hired 25 my dog. years. Oh, so I haven't seen him in 25 name? years. He's not your friend. Really? He, he Obviously, at this point, no, he's not. But when I play with the 49ers, Jeff. Jeff Orbick. Ah, my guy. <laughs> he's my, back. He's back. You're he's back. Hey, I, you know, concussions protocol. No really question. We've all had a couple. We all had a few. But, uh, yeah, that's my guy. I'm glad that he got the job. So you going with the Jets? He's going yeah. Jets. I think the Bills beat their ass. Ooh. A lot of drama in that building right now. Jets never, like, they always got something going on. Aaron Rodgers, man. Hey, let's be Sala, honest. everything I've heard about Sala, and it seems like Fantastic reports and stuff individual. are coming out. Yeah, it's like, it doesn't seem like Who you think got him fired? Say the name. It's Who do you think got him fired? You think it's Aaron Rodgers? Of course. There's already been a report that came out that the, the ownership made that decision without consulting with Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers said, I knew nothing about it. He was blindsided, is the report. Of course he said that. Oh, you think he's... <laughs> he said, of course he said <laughs> He's, he's, course he's he doing this that. behind the scenes. Of course. Why would he say he had something to do with it? Because everybody already know he got the guy at Green Bay fired. What was so funny there? McCarthy? McCarthy. Got him, got, sniped, boom. <laughs> Next, go Trying to, to the, trump him. <laughs> yeah. Try to get his ass. Yeah. Uh, who? I'm not, no, we can't say that. Don't say that. Oh, My fault. Yeah, yeah. Of Don't all the things that, I've yeah. said in this show, this is that's that's the one where we draw that's the line. That's sensitive, man, because oh, that right. type of shit really happened. Uh, <laughs> but then My he fault, got lady. this man, Kaka. You know, what I mean? gone. Yeah. It said on Sunday conversation he would fire. Him yeah, I, I was just gonna bring that up. Oh, you feel me? But he also said he put in a good word for him. <laughs> I doubt, I doubt, I doubt I'm just saying. That. It just seems it seemed like a surprising move to everybody. Like I just think they're. They're they're a sinking ship in New York right now. Yeah, for sure. But you never know. Maybe you get the uh, old interim head coach. A little fire. Jeff, a little man. ballsy pick. Jeff. A little fire ballsy just pick. Just control they, the ball. They, they get it. Jeff, man. Get him with some hard counts. Let's go, Jeff. I'm with him. I'm not going to take that game. I'm not even going to touch it. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm happy for Jeff. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah that's my that's guy. That's your dog. That's my guy. That's All right, ballsy pick. Well, uh, uh, the commanders, bro. They're oh, right now, they're That underdogs. ain't ballsy. They're seven and a half point How underdogs. You? I, th- I believe it's six and a half right now. Because they are actually really good. Yeah, but they're playing. I mean, they're going out to Baltimore. Baltimore is also really good. You're talking about the number one run team in the league. You're talking about the number one run defense Derek in Harry. the league. Yeah. 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 That's, why they're, that's why they're underdogs. Okay. And if you look at their schedule, like there's an argument that they haven't really played like Anybody, the, the yeah. upper half of the league. This yeah. is a big – I think this is a big week for them to do that. Drive Kings is giving you six and a half. I think that is a no-brainer. Washington plus six and a half. I'm going to go money line with them. It's a team that obviously wants to establish the run. And it's not like there's some RPO finesse team, too. Like, they utilize 22 personnel, 13 personnel. They get in unbalanced. Like, I think they're going to challenge the Ravens, the number one defense in the league, to stop the run. Ravens might do that, so then it kind of puts in the hands of Jaden Daniels, who's been playing fantastic this year. Balling. And efficient. Like, he's hit, I think he hit seven different targets last week, nine the week before that. Can they win through the air? I like the Commanders, bro. I think they're in a great spot. At Baltimore, it's going to be a local kind of rivalry. Yo, Travel yeah. a couple hours up north. Not even a couple hours. What is it, like two maybe? Two? I think so. A yeah. couple. Yeah, it's a couple. <laughs> 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 oh, but I, 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 like, I like the Commanders, man. Uh, again, DraftKings giving you six and a half. You do that. But if we want to make this pick ballsy, you take a money line. I love your pick. 
Yeah, I love everything about. It. I think and, I'm, and I'm on the Jaden they... Daniels bandwagon, dude. All right, cool. And they got they got a lot of a lot of cats like yourself, athletic alignment. Again, you're, I think you'll be able to see a lot of quick screens, a lot of middle screens, throwback play action. The boys can get to the second level a lot like you back in your day. I like you know I'm a word of affirmation yeah, guy. Yeah. Like you just sold me. I've already I was already sold, but you buttered the, me up. The problem is just going to be again the the Commanders defense isn't playing that well. Their their run defense is not very good, and obviously the Ravens are very good at running the football. What's the total in that game? It's like 56, right? 51 and a half. I'm not high even going to They think a lot that. of points are going to, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm not touching that game as well. <laughs> That's fine. You don't I have know, to. I'm, just, I'm saying, I just like to say it out loud. Yeah, just to let people know. You're yeah, staying yeah. away from it. I'm staying away from yeah. that as well. You're staying away from that. What's yeah. your ballsy pick? Mine's is like, you know, it's like a ballsy pick when it's cold outside and they it tucks into your fucking... Tightens up a little bit. Uh, get real hard. You know, it's like hard. You think something wrong, you may have to go to the doctor type you. shit. Who, 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 who Jags. gets that analogy? <laughs> the Jags versus the Bears. What's the what's the spread here? I think it's four, four it's, and a half. No, it's plus two and a half. It's now two? it's two. It dropped down to two? So it's not that ballsy. It's very ballsy. Because there's two teams, you don't know what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Both Jags teams. get their first win last week against yeah, the Colts. I know. Against the Bears, Joe Flacco. Win. The Bears got a win, too. I don't know. Bears, they get sloppy he, what, I think he played I pretty think well. I think played well last he week. Played though, well, right? He played well, though, did. last he week. He, he played. So this was why this is ballsy, because I am taking the Jags. Jags plus two, Delaney Walker. Couple of points, two. <laughs> <laughs> Not even. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a fucking good one. Uh, yeah, so I'm going with the Jags, man. I, I feel like they got to get this one done. Yeah, I'm going to go with Delaney here and uh, stay away from this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, will, I will do the same. I will do the same. Rapid fire. Yeah, rapid, yeah, yeah, fire, rapid, rapid fire. fire. Who's got Who's got the mic this week? Is it Coop? Coop. Stretch it's Armstrong. Coop. It's Coop. me, Cooper Coop. Comstock. Coop. 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 Hey, give him a shot of fireball. That'd get Come on, Coop. Come on, Coop. Drink it, huh? I don't think he can legally drink it. No, Coop can drink. I know. He can put it down. All right, Coop. All right, we ready? We're ready, bro. Have some enthusiasm. I'm ready. All right, first one. We got Texas minus seven versus the Patriots. Over under is 38. Over. Texans minus seven. Texans. Next, we got Browns versus Eagles. Eagles are minus eight and a half. Over under is 43.5. Under. Ugly game under. Under. We got Colts minus one versus the Titans. Over under is 43. Titans money line. Something about that Joe Flacco. I want the Colts. Give me the Colts minus one. You're a sicko. Under 43. Something about that Joe Flacco. All right, Delaney, you can start this one. We got Chargers minus three versus the Broncos. Over under is 35 and a half. Chargers. Broncos three game win streak. Give me the Broncos, bro. Just Chargers. Broncos. <laughs> Just do that. <laughs> you know I like that. I know you know how to get that one. Next, we got Falcons minus six versus the Panthers. Over under is 47 and a half. Falcons. Over 47 and a half. <laughs> Falcons. <laughs> Last, we got Bills minus two versus the Jets. Over under 41. Jets money line. Bills minus two. Under. That's the last one. There we go. Good job, Coop. Cool. Yeah, Coop. Cool. Yeah. See, that was so bad. Good job, fucking Coop. <laughs> all right, fellas. This is this next segment. This has got to be all hands on deck. We got to. We, we gotta haven't go. won a touchdown parlay. Are you sure? The entire season. Trust we me. have not. We have not. We have won. not won one. Who did? Who didn't score last week? Justin Jefferson. Justin Jefferson. Fucking Taylor. What? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> just playing man. This segment is brought to us by DraftKings. What's better than watching football on the weekend? Watching football on the weekend with the DraftKings Sportsbook app in your hand. Our partner DraftKings is hooking up all new customers who bet five dollars. They will instantly get $200 in bonus bets. Follow all your favorite Barstool personality picks in the Barstool betting group on the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Download the app now. New customers that use our promo code LOCKER and bet just $5 on any wager will get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code LOCKER only at the DraftKings Sportsbook. The crown is yours, fellas. I'm just going to throw this out there. Maybe we just do a two-leg parlay. I love that. We need it. We got we to put a W on the board. 
We do. We have well, to put a W on the board. I definitely get the pick. You know, I think I've been hitting I, the most. I did have two last week, Mike I Evans had, and Brian Robinson. Then you guys think I was wrong last week? Oh, Who do you, you got this win? week? Derek fucking Harry. <laughs> Anytime yeah. TD. I, I think we, get, we got to lean on you a little bit. I want to go Brian Robinson. Mm. Both in the same game. Mm. Brian Robinson, Derek Henry, that six foot well. one, 230 yeah. pounds coming right at your face. Again, Basically. Derek, what's, what's the size of Derek? 250, six, four. Unit. This is a week for big <laughs> 10, backs. 10,000 yards. <laughs> yeah. Brian Robinson also has five touchdowns yeah, in, in the five games on the season. I like, uh, let's do that. Brian Robinson. And Derrick Henry. The odds, Steven? We can't parlay together. We need, we need something different. What do you mean? Because they're, they're in the same game? Because they're in the same game? It's not Levy right now. That's I disgusting. Don't know I like... That's probably going to be even lower than that. Henry's minus 225. Brian Robinson's plus Wait, he minus 225. But Brian Robinson's plus 130. Oh, okay. God damn. That don't, we losing money. Are you trying to put it together? We can, edit, <laughs> we can edit through this. Let's see if we can put this parlay together. Austin Eckler's back. That's Who? The same, that's the yeah. same game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, let me pull one out of the fucking hat. Hey, hey, hey. What's hey, the running hey. back name for the San Francisco 49ers? Hey, 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 hey. We, tr- we trying to tell a secret. Who? Jordan Mason. Jordan Mason may score, boy, bro. I kind of like that. Or Walker. But bro. also. Kenneth Walker. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if we, we lean on that. He is on my fantasy team. He is a good back. Yeah. But I like Jordan Mason. I like Kenneth Walker. Yeah, I do too. Also, I do too. remember last week we were trying to use the Detroit Lions and they were on a bye week, but this week Laporta oh, hasn't scored we yet. We get our hands on either Laporta or Montgomery. Man, David Gibbs. Montgomery. Fuck that. We need to, uh, uh, for sure, Gibbs is going to score. Do we go? I La- was wrong last week. Y'all take do it. We, do we go Laporta, tight end? He hasn't scored yet on the season. Oh, that scares me. I'm, You know, and I'm a tight end kind of guy. Two twenty six plus two twenty six. Derek and Brian Robinson plus two twenty six. Take it. I mean, I think that's it. a and Jordan run. Mason. No, just do two. You don't want to do Jordan Mason. You don't think he's gonna get? We no- got to get a win, man. These people are putting their wallets on the line for us. And All right, Brian Robinson, Derek Henry. Done. I right. sign in. I sign off on that. Team on three. Team on me. One, two, three. Team. <laughs> Come on, man. You couldn't can, can say it. All right, hey, thank you. Uh, Not not thank you. The show is not over. We just got done with the NFL portion. We're going to take a big, uh, quick break. When we come back. We're going to take a quick break. We're out of here for an hour. We're going to take a quick break, and then we'll be back. College football. Big hugs, tiny kisses. Welcome back to the goddamn locker room. (laughs) Where this segment, we talk college football. There we go. That's right. Call it the trophy game of the week. Tear talk. Ballsy pink. Yes, sir. Hey, in that rapid fire where I get fired. <laughs> and then we talk about that fan, the fan call in. We know they're going to give us some sick. But back to the show, man. You know what time it is. It's the locker room. Let's go. Trophy games of the week presented by DraftKings. What's better than watching football on the weekend? Watching football on the weekend with the DraftKings Sportsbook uh, app in your hand. Our partners at DraftKings is hooking up all new customers. If you bet $5, you will get $200 instantly in bonus bets. Follow all your favorite Barstool personalities in the Barstool betting group on the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Download the app now. New customers, again, use our promo code LOCKER and bet just $5 on any wager and get $200 instantly in bonus bets. Only at DraftKings, the crown is yours, fellas. Trophy games of the week. I know mine, I'll be talking Oregon, Ohio State. The boys, busting with the boys, will be at Oregon this weekend for that game. We'll be at Rennie's noon. Rennie's Rennie, landing. At noon, right? Yeah. Rennie's at noon. Rennie's landing at noon, having some drinks, throwing around some twisted teas. But we'll be there at that chaotic environment. Who wants to start off the trophy game of the week? Well, before, let me get one more what? thing on Oregon real quick. <clears throat> we will be there Friday. And if you're watching the show, please in the comments tell us what haunted house we should go to. We're keeping Spooktober alive. Go ahead, Bob. Yeah. That's all I had. That's, oh, that's all, all you got? That's all, that's all I had. Delaney, ball, uh, trophy, trophy game of the week. Man, this is going to be a tough one, honestly. Real, real tough one for me to make this decision. We got Ole Miss versus uh, at LSU. LSU lost to USC. Ole Miss lost to Kentucky. I'm still, I was sitting here talking to these guys while they was bullshitting, and I was trying to figure out who will I pick for this game. Oh, you, don't have a, you didn't have one yet. What's the point? What's the points on that? What's the spread? It's minus three and a half. But it's just Close game. There's we, an obvious pick there for me. Ole Miss. Yes. 
I'm going to Ole Miss. I got to my tear talk, so I, I'm, I'm holding my comments. But I, but to, to be honest, talk. LSU haven't lost. I think they undefeated at home, so that makes it a tough one for me. So, I, I mean, I'm going to just stick with Ole Miss. Let's do it. Fuck it. Ole Miss, let's go. Uh, my trophy game of the week is going to take place at the Texas State Fair. And that will be the uh, Red River rivalry between Texas, who is favored by 14 points against Oklahoma. 14. To- 14 points. Mm, now, last scary. week we saw something in the air. There were maybe the, some of the greatest upsets college football has ever seen. Yes. And I think, I don't know if Quinn Ewers is playing. There was a Texas put on a little something on Instagram kind of alluding to that. Does Manning still take the helm? I'm not sure. But I think Oklahoma is going to cover this. They have a freshman wide receiver, Fondell Bobbin. Kid is incredible. He has done an amazing job. I think he's got like 90 yards per game. You know nope, we didn't is, say right? we didn't say nothing, bro. Okay, so I didn't know if you were going to talk, talk about Fondell Bobbin at all. You know, um, Fondell? I don't know that dude. <laughs> <laughs> I got Oklahoma plus 14. <laughs> Damn. 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 <laughs> I know, bro. <laughs> Model these nuts, man. I, I knew it was something. I was about to say something about Bob, but I didn't want to be like, damn, is that his real name? Because I was going to be like, Bobby this dick. But then I was just like, I didn't want to, I didn't, I didn't know yeah. if that was his real name or not, be yeah. honest with you. So that's, I know, you did a good no. job maneuvering through that. <laughs> you that like pissed o- me you off. like Oklahoma. I do like points. Oklahoma. I just think in a rivalry game, I think Texas is the better team inside and out. But we always talk about throwing records out the window when it comes to rivalry games. I think Oklahoma covers. I think Texas still wins. I like Texas minus 14. I think they got too much firepower. Man, that's a lot. I mean, well, you, do you have an opinion on this one? I do not. No, nah, you just, yeah. yeah. You that's... ready to get to the next one? No. I like to hear y'all talk about college football because then I get an insight on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I understand it a lot better. Mm. Yeah. You started yeah. watching more college football? Sure. Who'd you watch last week? Michigan. Don't say that. Don't do that. Michigan, Washington. No, I watched, I watched Tennessee. I always watch Tennessee. I. That one hurt. That one really yeah, hurt. Yeah, Arkansas. Yeah. Yeah. Jack's hurt with that one too. Yeah. yeah I know he's hurt with that one. People, I, some people are saying it's because of Jack. Wow. Oh, you're doing this now too? <laughs> oh, I'm just saying that's what people are saying. Guy stuck a burrito up his ass. What happened? His team started winning. <laughs> Let's go up to Oregon. <laughs> Ohio State at Oregon. I think the question in this game, can Will Howard operate? In that environment, the windows are tighter, players are faster, the moment's bigger. You can say the exact same for Dylan Gabriel. I think this is a legacy game for Dylan Gabriel. A couple stats for you. Oregon, sixth best pressure rate in the country. The, this game will be won at the line of scrimmage. Ohio State, they have a couple good running backs. Judkins, is it Judkins? Quinchon Judkins. Yeah, Quinchon Judkins and, uh, and Henderson. They both average over seven yards per carry. I do. I think this game is going to be one at the line of scrimmage. Some more data points for you guys for the gambling, for the gambling junkies out there. Oregon is nine and two against the spread versus top ten opponents. Mm. Ohio State is one and seven against the spread in their last eight games as a favorite. That's a great stat. I I personally think Oregon, the focus, the energy, like they will be charged up, ready for probably their most insane atmosphere that they've hosted there. I'm rolling with the boy Dan Lanning. Give me Oregon. Them stats don't mean anything, but come on, man. <laughs> this is coming from the guy that did nine inch data for twelve weeks. I mean, I was hidden. Give me Oregon plus three, man. College and also, show. we we got a guest picker, Wyndham Clark. We have Wyndham Clark here. Wyndham, come up. Come here. on up here. Former Duck, top ten golfer in the world. There he is. We got a stool for you right there. We got a stool. Comfy uh, stool. Sherm, can we get a mic? <clears throat> No, nah, he gonna do the boom over so he can hear you. Yeah, <laughs> Wyndham, how you feeling about uh, how you feeling about your boys, man? Well, I feel like it's a little disrespectful that we're getting points at home. Uh, the Ducks, I was just looking at it. We haven't. We've allowed four touchdowns in the last three games. Kept the teams under fourteen points. Dan has the defense rolling. Little skeptical about Dylan Gabriel, but why think, is that? Do you have a reason why? Are you just I mean, I'm watching wrong? these games. And there's a lot of three and outs. And then we get like a big play. And I feel like that's the offense isn't rolling. And they just, it seems like they're only going for big, the big plays. But I think he hasn't played his best game yet. And he's yeah. kind of getting his his feet underneath him. So I, I think, love Dylan Gabriel's legacy game, bro. 
Like this is it. He's went to how many different schools? Like five different schools? Yeah, he's, I think he's like a 20. Three? Three, three different schools? And that's the boy. He's going to be ripping his minivan in on game day. You know he's ready to rock. He just got married, so that's, I yeah. mean, you know, there's a lot yeah. of things going on. So I think. How old is Getting he? Getting married in college is crazy. How old is he? Uh, third school. I mean, he's 30? probably 21. God damn. No. I'm just kidding. He's transferred a few times, so that was. Uh, we like the old Yeah, probably like 23. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bo Nicks and yeah, Bo yeah, no doubt. The old joints. Dude, everything you have said about Dan Lanning and the guy that he is, they're slower starting against Idaho and Boise State. I just, it's uh, it's also a hate thing for me, too, because they're playing Ohio State, but I think they're going to. They're going to win. In uh, a big I want way. to get us into the locker room for that pregame speech. Oh, you have oh to. God. I've been in the locker room one know, time. Bro. It was actually just incredible. It was um, right after we beat um, Hawaii last year. I went in there, brought the US Open trophy. And I don't think I was supposed to be in the locker room for this part, but he comes in. And the next week they played Colorado. And remember, everyone is betting Colorado. You were in there for that speech? I was in there. He comes in. He goes, listen up. He goes, we had this many penalties and this bullshit. And he like he ripped them. We won by 50. I mean, we killed him. But we had all these things. And he goes, you know what? I got the game. We got the game next week. And he goes, I can't wait. He goes, prime time, show time. I don't give a, a fuck what time it is. It's our fucking time. Yeah. And everyone started going and they started doing this fight song, which I didn't even know they had. But it was like just for the team. <laughs> and I'm sitting there. I'm like, fuck, I want to play. And yeah. I got so amped up. Just sitting there. On Literally, the yeah. And I have to try. I mean, and then he did gave this whole speech. And then he comes right up to me. And he's like sweating. And he goes, nice to meet you. I'm Dan Landing. I'm like, fuck yeah, you are. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> I was so They're going to be up. juice, bro. God, dude, they're going to be juice going. this weekend. He's, yes. he's great in the locker room. He's great. Man, when he, when he called out Colorado and they play for clicks. Yeah. yeah. That shit was. He's going to be one of the cool. grass, not in Hollywood. Yeah. yeah. Just dog. Juice, well, it's cool because he doesn't allow the cameras in the locker room. But he purposely. Like they were talking about that. He purposely said, hey, I want you guys to come in because he wanted that. He wanted all that press and everything because he's he like, I, the I want to get my guys going. He did because they yeah. came out. That's what, yeah, we got to get in that locker room. You're not going. As of right now, no. As, As of, of right, right now. now. So there's a chance. <laughs> there's, there's a chance we get him out there. Yeah. yeah. Well, you got to go. It's going to be an insane game. I know. Game. It's the biggest game probably ever in Eugene. And I'm, I might be missing it. And it's, it's a, like a blackout. I know. Oh, they wearing all black units. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That's what I'm saying. That's going to be nasty. That's going to be crazy. Gosh. Wendell, we appreciate you, bro. Let's give that was our guest. Our first, our first yeah. guest picker on the locker room, Wyndham Clark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, how about Wyndham just walking in the I bus, know. hanging out? With, shout, out yeah, shout, shout out Rob Muji. Shout out Rob Muji. Shout out planes having cracks in their windshield. Otherwise, you guys wouldn't be here. Yeah. That's awesome, dude. Don't shout that out. That's fucking scary. What do you mean? They fixed it. That's why they I'm glad they're plane. here, but damn. Shout you out to cracks. Skeptical. Yeah, know, man, man. That shit, if you put it in the air, it's scary. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not, I'm you not guy. Do you a guy that gets scared flying? Never. Why? Because I'm black. Oh, God. Here here we go. No, if <laughs> I had to give it back to the you. The locker yeah. room. If fully we were talking hiding. about swimming, it would be because of that. But no, I can swim about too. Tear talk. I can swim. Tear talk. <laughs> For those of you that are new to this show, tier one is going to be uh, teams ranked between one and 10. You select a game. Tier two, teams ranked from 11 to 25. And our tier three is you pick a team ranked outside of the top 25. Boys, who wants to kick it off? I'll go first, mate. Go, go ahead, ahead. Delaney. So my tier one is. Penn State versus USC. I'm gonna take Penn State on that one. What's a what's the line? Minus five. Penn State's favorite minus five. Yes, favorite Great minus pick. five. Tier two: Stanford versus Notre Dame. Minus twenty four points. I'm gonna take the under forty five and a half that game. Okay, so you got a you got a reason? You just feeling like this is an under game? This is a this gonna be an under game. Got you. I, I All think right. I think Stanford not gonna put up a lot of points. Notre Dame gonna be putting the most points up. So I I'm, like that thought. Yeah. So at the do end the game, math. It's under. Under for sure. And then uh, I got my tier three: Wisconsin versus Rutgers. I'm going. What's the What's the points on that? Like, what's the spread? Minus two and a half. Favored Wisconsin? No, Rutgers. Where are you going? Who you think I'm going with? Probably Wisconsin. You got me fucked up. You going Rutgers? Rutgers? Yeah. I ain't know you was a Rutgers fan. I'm taking Rutgers, man. I mess with those dogs. You know what I'm saying? My boy, the twins, Jason McCordy and all them boys. I yeah. mess with them. Gotta Kenny Britt. Got to yeah. hold it down for my dogs. You feel me? Yeah. So, all right. New Yorkish. All right. So you like Rutgers minus two for your tier three? Minus two and a half. Yeah. Okay. Taylor? 
Uh, we commenting on that? You don't have to. Okay, then I won't. Uh, my tier <laughs> talk is the same theme as last week. It's a GBOT. It's a pray to God these teams that lost, whoever they're playing next, pray for them because they are going to absolutely murder them. And I hate that I'm doing this again. My tier one, South Carolina versus Alabama. Wait. Damn. Wait. Alabama is favored minus 21. Dog. We talked about it. I told you last week I wanted South Carolina to win. And I literally, when I, I texted JP, I was like, hey, man. After the game, I was like, that sucks. I'm sorry. You guys will be ba back next week. Who do you play next week? He just texts back Alabama. And I was like, oh, no. They are going to, they're going to cover, unfortunately. Oh, Wait, what's the, what's the spread? South Carolina's offense couldn't get rolling. Look, they might. What's, what's the, the spread? spread here? 21. 21? They 21. might cover it. But everybody's talking about a pissed off Alabama. What about a pissed off South Carolina, bro? Nobody ever talks about that. No, you're right. And maybe no, there's a reason they don't talk about it like that. But maybe this week there will be a reason. <laughs> and I pray to God. If you're Alabama and you lose to Vanderbilt this. for the basically the first time, it says uh, like what the '84. Yeah, was it '84? Yeah, I think so. Al, uh, Vanderbilt was 0 and 60 versus top five teams, and they put a 40 burger on Alabama. Do you see 13? Kick the ball when they're in victory formation. Like, you know, uh, DeBoer walks into his office and a, a chair spins around and it's Nick Saban with a cigar flicking the light on. Like, what the fuck did you do to my team? Yeah, that was crazy. It is. I, I, it, I would have prayed for any team. And unfortunately, I have to pray for your team one more time, JP. It's all good. Alabama. It was at 21. <laughs> uh, my next pick is uh, Missouri. Minus 27 and a half against UMass. I, this might have been a typo on the DraftKings sport. 27? They're, they're at UMass. They're going to beat their ass. They're going to beat their ass. That, that, isn't that crazy? Wow. Like, Missouri is going to UMass. Yeah. Wow. And then finally, shout out Christopher. Um, I'm taking Cal plus three versus Pittsburgh. Cal had a great game against Miami. Lost it towards the end, but. You say you're taking Cal? Cal. I'm Pittsburgh. taking Cal as well. Shout out the boy uh, uh, Christopher. I talked to him on the phone yesterday. We were on a Zoom call. Don't know him. He said, hey, Cal plus three this week. I like Cal to win that game. It's all you need and, to and hear. Just from a gambling perspective, I'm like, all right, listen, I'm going to trust you. I'm going to ride that. That's going to be my ballsy pick in the future. My tier one is going to go, going back to Ole Miss LSU. I think everything says Ole Miss wins this game. The points being minus three and a half is a little suspect to me. Um, I hate the spot Ole Miss is in. You lose to Kentucky. Yeah, I know. South Carolina gave them everything last week. They beat South Carolina. They're at South Carolina. Now they're on the road again at LSU. LSU's coming off of a bye week. And since USC, they've been throwing points all over the place at LSU. And again, you were, you were alluding to it earlier. Like, they're at home. At We've home. been to that spot last year. Like, they're going to be rocking. Rocking. They're going to be Death rocking. Valley. Yeah, yeah, with Ole Miss coming to town, bro. Yeah. I like... uh. I like I like LSU. I like LSU against Ole Miss. I do. I think everything says, hey, Ole Miss, they're going to win this game. They're going to get back on track. I think LSU can kind of ruin their season, end their season by giving them another loss. I like LSU for my Tier 1. My Tier 2, I think it goes to Avery Johnson versus Shadir Sanders, Kansas State versus Colorado. Kansas State's favored by four right now. Colorado had a big win against UCF. and uh, Big win. Yeah, big, big win. One. Looked real good, too. They protected yeah. Shadur. And obviously, he's, he's, he's one of the best quarterbacks in the country when he's protected. But I think coming off of a bye week, having a big win, Kansas State, their only real lapse was BYU, which that's I, I can't really explain that game at all. But I like Avery Johnson. I think that they win and cover uh, minus four at Colorado. And then my tier three, I'm going at the big dog's neck this week. I think, Vandy, you have a historical win like that against Alabama. They're riding high. He said it. He was at the he was at the Barstool Nashville bar after the game. They got goalposts going into the river. Like you have such a high moment. I think Kentucky's a good football team. Kentucky's favored by 13 and a half. I think they cover that against Vandy. So I'll be going against Vandy just because again, you have the biggest win in program history. They're all riding high from it. They're all know. still talking about that know. win. They're probably not even focused on Kentucky at all. I like Kentucky here to cover my You think so, eh? Yeah. Diego Pavia. I like. I love him. I mean, Vanderbilt. Him. Vanderbilt might be the team to beat in the SEC. Partial Scully to Nebraska for wrestling, Pavia. <laughs> a partial. So I like him, but I, again, I think just on the spot here, I, I like uh, Kentucky. And it ended it. Uh, it's at Kentucky, correct? Yeah, at Kentucky. It's at Kentucky. On the road. I love it. 
Good picks. I love it. Ballsy like picks. Oh, we got to do a little. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll do it. Yeah, one. we got fireball now. Let's fireball. get it heat. Fireball. Let's get it heat in here. Keep it juiced up. So many things make football great. But you know what's, you know what the best thing is? Kicking the living. Is this the one? Same one? Five. That's correct. That's okay. Right Kicking one. the living shit out of your rival. There's absolutely no better feeling as an athlete or fan. This week, Ohio State, Oregon. Big 10 matchup. That's what we have this Massive week. And matchup. Fireball Whiskey is here to give you the spark to ignite your that rivalry all season long. Grab a football buddy, buy a round, and ignite your rivalry flame. Um, we've already gone to it at length. My ballsy pick is fueled by hate and Fireball. I'm taking Oregon Moneyline versus Ohio State. I don't want Oregon just to win this game. I want Oregon to win this game by 30 points. I don't know how that happens, but I'm praying the Ducks have a decisive, aggressive win against Ohio State, only to drop it in a couple weeks against Michigan. My ballsy pick's going to be Cal, and literally for absolute no other reason than Christopher yesterday on the Zoom call. So Shout he's out in the trenches. He watches the MAC games. He watches the lower-level schools. He loves Cal in this spot, especially after a tough loss last week at home against Miami. Very questionable call there at the end with the referees. So I'm going to go Cal uh, over at Pittsburgh, money line. My the, ballsy, game, the spread, too, is three, by the way. Spread is what? The spread's three, three, so not a big one. My ballsy pick is going to be prime time. Prime motherfucking time. They got to come <laughs> out, show up. Colorado, man, plus uh, money line, plus 145. They're going to get it done. I see them beating Kansas, Kansas State Dude, and Colorado. I was going to say, they beat Kansas State, bro. Like, they're going to be a team rising to the top, becoming like a contender or a favorite for the Big 12. Because right now they're 4-1. and one. Yeah. Their one loss, Nebraska. Nebraska. The Huskers. The Huskers. The Huskers. Which, Which makes the Huskers bad. look better every yeah. week. Well, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. after watching Colorado and Lincoln, I thought this team's going to lose Me every too. game. Me too. I terrible. did too. But I'm back on the drain. I'm back on the choo-choo. Yeah. That'll you be a good game. <laughs> so, you got all these awesome games going on with LSU Ole Miss, the Red River rivalry, Oregon, Ohio State. I do. I think a sleeper game this week is Kansas State, it's, Colorado. Yeah, that's a sleeper. A lot game. of implications in the Big Twelve. But it's that probably going to be more celebrities at that game than any other game. I don't know. We're going to be at Oregon. Uh, who are you? <laughs> Wyndham's going to be at Oregon. Google too. me. You, you Google, <laughs> Google me. Google you. Yeah, Google. <laughs> Google me. <laughs> All, All right. right, dive into rapid fire. Coop, our boy Coop. Yeah, no Coop. 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 All right, ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, first we got Clemson minus 20 versus Wake Forest. Over, under, 16 and a half. Under. Give me Clemson minus 20. Under. Next we got Purdue versus Illinois. Illinois is minus 19. Over, under, is 49. Purdue. Yeah, I don't think Illinois is built to cover 19. I'm going Purdue. I'm taking Purdue as well to cover. Well, you just co-tailing. You go first. Let Delaney who, go who first. Who co-tailing? You co-tailing. All right, Delaney, you're first on this one. We got Louisville minus 7 versus Virginia. Over, under, 54 and a half. Under. Louisville, minus seven. Louisville, minus seven. Sorry, I was looking at the next one. Delaney, you can start this one as yep. well. We got Arizona versus BYU. BYU is minus five. Over under is 49 and a half. BYU. Big over game. Over 49 and a half. Shout out Mark Weischeck, Arizona. And next we have the Mississippi State Bulldogs versus the Georgia Bulldogs. Georgia's minus 34. Over under 54. Jesus Christ. Under. Uh, pass. Georgia. <laughs> All right, I'll go uh, son of a... under 54, under 54. Jesus. That's crazy. And last, we got Minnesota minus five versus UCLA over under 40 and a half. Minnesota. Minnesota plus five. Fleck Bank. Minus Minnesota, five. Minnesota, you're giving them 10 points. Minus five. What are you talking about? They're minus five. Yeah, what'd I say? Plus, plus five. five. My fault. Fleck Bank. <laughs> My... <laughs> Minnesota. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's one. That's it. Yeah, Coop. Good, Good job, job Coop. Nice. Coop. Fan calling. Yes, fan calling brought to us by the one and only True Classic. This call-in segment is sponsored by True Classic. Look at all the boys. Everything that you see on us outside of the holy jeans right there is True Classic. I got jeans on. Taylor, stand up. Show them the squat. Show them how limber you are in these pants and these jeans. You can already see how great you look in a, in a True Classic shirt. Delaney, he lost 30 pounds in just one week just from putting on True Classic. <laughs> the True Classic team is sending out codes to hook you up with True Classic, so be sure to give them a shout-out in our comments here and on our socials using the hashtag 
True Classic caller for a chance to win. Upgrade your wardrobe and save on True Classic at trueclassic.com. This fan call-in segment is Elliot Green. The boy Elliot Green, a fan of the show, a friend of the show. Friend of the show. Uh, and again, if you guys want a chance to be featured on this show with a fan call and segment, all you got to do is take a selfie video of yourself with your favorite parlay of the weekend. It can be college or NFL. You submit that video to info at bustinwtb.com. That is how you have a chance to be featured on the show. And let's get into the fan call segment by Elliot Green. I'm Elliot, and here are the bets of the week. We're going to start this off with Bills minus 2.5. That's minus 110 against the Jets. Josh Allen rebound game, hoping to get back Taron Johnson, Ed Oliver, and Khalil Shakir. We're going to take things over to Dallas, but we are not taking the Cowboys. We are going Lions, minus 165. Cowboys D-line looking a little banged up. Might not have Micah Parsons. Just lost Marshawn Nealon, rookie out of Western Michigan. We are rolling with the Detroit Lions. We're going to kick things over to New Orleans, but we are not taking the Saints. We're going Bucks, minus three and a half. That is also minus 110. No Derek Carr. Is it going to be Jake Hayner? Is it going to be the GOAT, Spencer Rattler? We will find out. Either way, they're going to lose. Buccaneers, minus three and a half. That takes us to plus 485, but we are not done yet. The one we've all been waiting for. The lock of all locks. The parlay fodder. We are going to kick it over to the Nations League, and we are taking Turkey against Montenegro. Got to be careful saying that one. Turkey is minus 265. That takes us up to 706. Turkey, Arda Guler, Real Madrid, Demirol holding up the back. Montenegro, got to be careful saying that. Stefan Jovetic is getting a little old. He's 34, 35. They've got no juice in the tank. Turkey, best fans in the world. That is $1,000 to win $7,062 with my free money parlay. All right, Yo, all that right. is crazy. Yo, that okay. was you insane. can add soccer now, too. <laughs> to, the, to the show. Yeah, football. Football. It's actually football. You're, yeah, you're yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Actual football. It's football. But it was- I, I do have to say, I love the parlay. <laughs> I love that parlay. Bills minus two and a half versus the Jets. Lions money line. Bucks minus three and a half. And then obviously you're just we're just betting that Elliot understands the game of football over there in the nation's league. Yes. Like, with Turkey money line, you know, all that added up is what, plus seven? <laughs> plus seven oh six. We could have our first call of fame winner. Could I have a I first do. Call I really like that parlay. Yeah, I the like only, it too. The I only thing it. I don't like is uh Bills and Jets game because I'm taking the Jets. You're yeah. taking the Jets. So yeah. I'm out. For that reason, I'm out. Hey, Elliot, I'll put a thousand on that. I'll put a thousand on that and then I'll give you a cut. I got you too, buddy. How much you put on it? Dude, I'm a bet, I'm a bet what I One bet. I don't like to tell people what I bet. I don't want y'all in my ride. pockets. I'm a ride with it, but I'm not going to. Do a thousand. Sure, Let's man. do a thousand. Sure, yeah, yeah. Two thousand and one. Right. A thousand from the good old Bussin' with the boys check. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Solid on the fan calling segments. That's yeah, it? That's it. We're good? Yeah. Shout out Elliot Green for calling in on the fan segment. I think, I, hey boys, let's, let's fucking win them all. Let's, let's do it. Have I week. have to. Big week. GBOT week for GBOT all of us. week. I gotta awesome catch week up. in college ball. Awesome week in the NFL. Um, yeah. If you love the show, don't forget to comment, subscribe, tell your friends, pass it around. We need people helping people here. Grassroots show. Thank you for watching The Locker Room. NFL, college, the boys, Taylor, myself, and Delaney Walker. We will see you next week again, Thursday, every Thursday at 6 a.m. Big hugs, tiny kisses, embrace the spook.